What are you doing in the back seat? I was gonna watch Frozen. I actually never saw the ending. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> Welcome to Pop Up Video. Oh my God, you're jam. It was like that when I got there. I am so freaking hungry. Ooh, I love those. Love those. Love those. Wrong flares. Small, small, extra large, fashion. Mm -hmm. The uh, Lou is out of toilet paper. Is there anything else? It was like that when I got there. I got pop, I got water, I got popcorn twists, I got nacho chips, I got some chocolate. All set. Well, we're definitely not gonna starve on this three-hour road trip. Oh, did you want snacks? Did you pay for the gas? It's your car. Oh, not now, Satan. What are you doing in the back seat? I'm watching Frozen. I actually never saw the end of this thing. Is everybody freeze to death or what? Get in the front. Do these make my face look blood? Very. I don't think they do. <clears throat> look, here's the deal. We should arrive at the motel around 6 p.m. All I am up for tonight is a quick dinner and then early bed, okay? Because I just, I need to be in a clear state of mind for tomorrow. Sounds good to me. I'll be friggin' hungry by then. Look, this guy my biological dad. Who does not like a road trip? Especially with your bastard sister. I feel like I always want more scenes with my sister. So going into season three, I think uh, I gotta talk them into doing more scenes with my sister. Tomorrow's just gonna be really stressful, okay? We're kind of ambushing this guy. What if it backfires? Max, you're an amazing person. And if you're half of him, he's an amazing person too, right? Yeah. Or? He could be a serial killer. Which is fine, because he would never kill his own child. Hi, Dave! Oh, hi, Liz. Hi. Listen, um, I noticed that Max left in the van 47 minutes ago, and she hasn't come back. Oh, you noticed that, huh? Uh, and also, she had a suitcase, so made me think maybe she's never coming back. Oh, yeah, no, no, she's coming back. Oh. Yeah, soon. But I was home alone, thinking of you. And I thought, you know, that precious family could use some of my famous sweet buns. Oh. Especially that delicious Daddy Dave. Oh. OK, thank you. Oh, uh oh. Um, I'll let Max know you stopped by. OK, and, that's great. OK. <laughs> and thank you. Uh -huh. Oh, and you're trying to come in, huh? Well, I overheard Max saying, you know, that you guys repainted your master bedroom. Yeah. So I thought maybe I could uh, see it. No. Oh. It's just white. It's white? Oh, you're hilarious. <laughs> I know. Okay, I'll see you later. Okay. This place 100% has bed bugs. Oh, when did you get so precious? It doesn't have bed bugs. <gasps> Why is there carpeting in the bathroom? You know what we should do tonight? Chill out, watch a movie, order pizza. <gasps> Max, Frozen is on. You know what, I, I can't seem to relax. I think I just maybe need a drink. I don't even miss alcohol. Oh, well, that is super, super great for you. Anything for love, but I won't do that. Oh, will I? I already have, and you will again. <laughs> uh, two Jaeger shots, please, and a Diet Coke. Oh, my sister. You ladies here for our karaoke competition? First prize is a meat basket. What a shame. I was toying with the idea of becoming vegan. Please sign up. Randine will go all night if no one else sings. As long as the planets are turning. That's hilarious, actually, because singing to me is more of a job than a pastime. But thank you, Dan. I'm really sorry about my sister. She's insufferable. Half sister. Oh, yeah. This is going to be so embarrassing for you. Hey, I'm Jan. I'm a professional singer from Calgary, Alberta. <clears throat> Turn around Boom. Every now and then I get a little bit lonely Cause 
you never come around Turn around Every now and then I get a little bit tired Of listening to the sound of my tears I guess she was kind of trying to go for the wet t-shirt contest thing, but what Zoe didn't realize, she breathed in a lot of the water. She really was like choking. We had to stop shooting. We had to kind of reboot. We had to dry Zoe off, you know, dry her shirt off, blow dry her hair, fix her makeup, and reshoot it so that it didn't look like she was gonna possibly drown on dry land. I honestly don't oh, think I can do this. It's so much, <laughs> honestly, I, it's like it's like overwhelming how much goes down. Cannot believe we're back here. So embarrassing. Well, maybe they won't recognize us. Here you go. Oh. Hey, you left your bra here last night. Oh, jeez. Yeah, yeah, not you. The hot one. Build your own Caesar bar. I love these. I couldn't just wear one of my cute bras. It had to be this piece of garbage. Well, in your defense, it's not like you woke up yesterday and thought, oh, gosh, maybe I'll wear one of my cute bras in case I end up flinging in the face of somebody named Raw Dog Robbie. Well, it works, so those glasses make your face look wide. <sighs> this is a virgin Caesar. I get it. As much as food looks like it's a really good idea on a set, trust me, after you keep making build your own Caesar bar things that you have to like keep eating as the scene progresses is horrible. I knew it. You got the skinny jeans. Knock knock. Oh, that was out of sequence. <laughs> you just come in the back door, huh? Front door was locked. For a reason. Well, what, well, what are you doing here? Brought you some ripe melons. <laughs> You did, thank you. Girls, Liz is here from next door. Dan, another glass of ice, please. Mm. You having a hot flash? <laughs> <laughs> I chew ice when I get nervous. Hmm. Got any nervous kids you don't know about? Hey, wait a minute, I know you. I've got your album, Living Under June. You're a very talented artist. Thank you. Marty. Pleasure to meet you, Mark. Pleasure. I'm Max. Holy hell. Hey, this is my half-sister, Max, if you get my drift. Hello, Max. I'm meeting you. And I'm meeting you. <laughs> so where are your kids and your husband, Liz? <laughs> You're looking really, really good, Dave. Good for you. I don't like this. Well, you should learn how to take a compliment, you delf. <laughs> Dirty, that's good. Much like my marriage. Door. Looking for Jan. Is she hiding in the suburbs because she thinks I would never come here? No, but come on right in. We'll look for her together, even if it takes all day. Kale, this is our neighbor, Liz. I brought fresh melons. I'm sure you did. The writers went to great lengths to utilize fruit and vegetables in a very seductive way. Back. Oh, thank God. How was your hair appointment? Great. Blowouts were half off. So Nora treated me as a thank you for taking her to her appointments. Oh, it's cute, Todd. You're cute. Kale, what are you doing in the suburbs? Looking for Jan, but now that you're here, we have a huge problem that still needs to be addressed. Now? Why not now? Because if you make me sweat, it'll ruin my blowout. That would be a blessing. You meeting with Jan behind my back is absolutely not appropriate. This is a real teaching moment for you also. Take notes. Todd is only doing what he thinks is best. Maybe he's trying to help you. Have you ever thought of that? Graham, you can't be serious. You've been here the whole time? Jen is my client. You can't even find her right now. I lost the scent in the suburbs. Kale, how can I make this better? What do you want me to do? If Jan approaches you about business, do me the courtesy of letting me know. What about the fact that Jan and I are real friends in real life? What, am I supposed to contact you every time we want to get our eyebrows threaded? Dave, like this? It's just lunch, Liz. Here, you guys unwrap these wieners. Wish that was my job. 
You need a hobby, dear. Are you crying? You're so ridiculous. Don't hey, even try with me, Utah, right now. I'm, Do you think I'm, this is I'm, enough? I'm, 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 I'll fight you. Okay. Shut it down. Please, for the love of God, shut it down. Okay. Um, hi, guys. Kale, you found me. I knew I would eventually. I really like your bangs, Todd. Mm. Thank you, Jan. <gasps> oh, uh oh. Well, there go the burgers. I got this. Excuse me. I won a meat basket, but that's because I am a better singer than Jan. The <laughs> DJ was tone deaf, but I'm going to give Max the false win. Wow. I love you so much. Wow, you've been through a lot. Glad you're back, guys. Kale, Charlie, help me set the table. Steve! Nice buns. God, did we laugh when Alicia kept doing all these weird things. She kept popping up the fence, falling down, pretending to fall. Her hand would come up, her head would come up, just a foot would come up. It was super funny. You and Dad were the best parents I could have ever asked for. Oh, Maxie. Thank you for everything you did for us. Being a mom to you girls is my greatest accomplishment. No. For my light eaters, <laughs> one burger split two ways, extra cheese. Thank you. So, you gonna tell me about this road trip? That was pretty uneventful. Unless we have bed bugs, and then we 100% have bed bugs. Yeah. 